Hi, what you see here is a 3D scan of the scooter seat that I scanned with the CR scan uh, Raptor X in my uh, previous video. And some of the audience requested that uh, he wants me to show if I can make a flat pattern of the uh, wrapping materials. In this case, is this letter. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I unwrap this upholstery and flatten it into a cutting pattern. If you look closely at this upholstery, it composed of uh, three patterns. One is the top, top part, which is look like a saddle shape here, and the second part is the side one, and the third part is the back one, the one in the back that roll around here. To flatten the pattern, uh, easiest is to just follow the original pattern. I will redraw the mesh over the 3D scan model by using the blender. This is a rougher mesh and I'm going to uh, redraw it into uh, three parts. The reason that I have to uh, redraw it is that because the uh, flatten uh, function in blender cannot unfold millions of the polygons. It can unfold only uh, simple polygons like this one. I made a very big mesh. Size is about um, three or four centimeters and I can flatten pattern into a 2D CAD format. Okay, so now you'll get the idea the process that it takes to do this. So let's get started. Okay, this is a 3D scan of the scooter seat and the next step will be uh, export this as an OBJ files. Uh, you are going to need two software to do this. One is of course the blender and the second software is Inkscape for opening uh, SVG files that uh, export the flattened pattern from the blender and it can also use uh, for save as a CAD files and the CAD software that I will use uh, for putting uh, the patterns together is the AutoCAD. Uh, you can also use other CAD software. It doesn't has to be a 3D CAD, just a 2D CAD would work. Okay, here's in Blender. Uh, you're going to need to add an add-on called paper. Search for the word paper and this will come up. Uh, click on this and when you hit N on the keyboard, we have a new tool called paper, which is uh, mainly used for unrolling uh, the 3D model into a, a flattened paper model. Next, I'm going to import the OBJ files that we just uh, export from the Creality Scan. I have to scale it smaller 1000 times, so I had to put 001 scale here and click on import. And here is uh, the seat that we are going to work on it. So I'm going to change uh, the unit scale Click on units and I'm going to change the unit to uh, centimeters. And you see the scale here, we have 0 0.001. Object, apply and apply all transform. Now the scale is back to one. Click on object, tap and I will set uh, geometry to the origin. Now the geometry is moved to the origin point. Next to that, I'm going to align manually. Click on the X axis. And then I'm going to hit R to rotate it. So the seat come uh, if you go to this tab here, view uh, viewport shading. We're gonna need to use a random color so that uh, the new object that we draw over the seat will have a different color, so it's easier to see. So I'm going to start with the one on the side here. To do that, I'm going to uh, click on here, snap, because we are going to snap a new plane onto the uh, original surface of the scooter seat. And here, I'm going to choose snap to face. Click here and click on face. It will snap to the closest face. Object, this object icon here, and go to viewport display. Click in front, and that's it. That's all we need to do. I'm going to click add mesh and plane. We have a huge plane here. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, change dimension to just uh, five centimeter, five by five centimeter. Okay, we have a five by five centimeter plane. I'm gonna move it to the sides here, clicking on the move to, move it here, just a bit, move it here. I'm gonna move it here. And then I'm going to uh, rotate it uh, on the red color, which is X axis. I'm going to rotate it at 90 degrees. So it's, I'm going to uh, project this face onto here. 
onto the uh, leather seat let me click in front okay if you don't click in front it's gonna be behind the seat click in front five centimeters is too big I'm going to change it to uh, three centimeter uh, three by three centimeter I'm click on the object click on the modifier add deform shrink lap and I'm going to use the target eyedropper click on the seat and now it's projected onto the seat hit uh, apply next I'm going to enter edit mode okay let's try um, turn next lay mode on I'm going to build a uh, mesh over this so I'm going to add uh, the vertices by clicking uh, by selecting one of the vertices and hit on E so now you add a new two uh, vertices and then you can select four if you select four vertices you can build a new uh, face adding a vertice uh, the size of the mesh uh, is determined the uh, precision of the unrolling so you don't have to join these two uh, vertices together you need to select four uh, vertices hit F which means uh, it you want to fill and it will create a mesh for you four points and now I'm going to uh, add more I'm going to select the seam line in the place where is a uh, corner I'm going to add a closer point so here on the edge there you can see that there is an edge here so I'm going to add a vertex where the edge is and then I'm going to uh, create a face so this face is a uh, larger uh, rectangle if it's not twist uh, it can be unroll very easy if, if it's twisted I mean four points is not in the same plane software the the paper function here is gonna tell you and you're gonna need to change from the a quad mesh into a triangular mesh you can still uh, change the position by hitting a G it will stick to the surface of the seat so as the size of the mesh increase in this area so I'm gonna need to add uh, more points I'm going to click on the edge to select this edge and click on subdivide go back to uh, vertice it adds a new um, vertice so I'm gonna uh, select on the two vertices hit F it's gonna create a new edge Okay, so now we have uh, finished the side uh, panel uh, click on the paper and click on unfold uh, it's gonna report when you click here that two of the plane here is cannot be unfold because it's twisted so uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, uh, triangulate it hit the lead key and click on face okay this face deleted instead of uh, one so it's triangle is it's easier to uh, unfold okay after you click unfold you hover your mouse over the unfold command here if it has some other it will show us here that you need to uh, triangulate the quad mesh so you do like I did uh, split the quad mesh into a triangle so it resolves the problem uh, what you see the red color here is the seam because uh, if, if you want to flat it it has to create a seam line and it's automatically uh, create a seam line by itself if you want to export this model you are going to uh, create a scale one to one and click on the SVG which is the file format that we will uh, open uh, with the Inkscape and the uh, paper size you're gonna set it to uh, big enough put a hundred by hundred centimeter and you are going to need to uh, click on create numbers create tab is for um, folding a real paper and then I will um, export the paper model in the SVG files I'm going to double click it our pattern was uh, a split and flat uh, automatically and it uh, split in uh, uh, different pieces that we don't want to so what I'm going to do is that I will uh, manually uh, create a seam line so I'm going to clear all the seam by selecting the edges all the edges click clear seam 
and it will clear all the same. I'm going to uh, create a, a seam line manually. I'm going to choose this one and click on Mark Seam. I'm going to create a seam here. Mark Seam, Mark Seam. So one, two, three, four, five. It should uh, give us uh, five pieces. Okay, now the seam is better. We have uh, we have three. One, two, three. I'm going to hit on Save File, uh, Save As, and click on the XF. Okay, it's all here is in uh, AutoCAD and I'm going to use this uh, align tools to align it with the y-axis okay next is supposed to be uh, numbers here but the number doesn't show maybe it's a software box but I can tell where its alignment is and I'm going to align it okay so now the, it's matched the seam line and then align number 4 to number 4 number 10 to number 10 we have a first uh, cutting line for the first panel which can be uh, uh, export to the CNC cutting machine 